What's up, it's your boy Remus, and this video is for the people who want a better understanding of the, the dynamic between the men, but between the man and the woman. And um, I'm reporting on what I've learned on the journey towards mastery, knowledge, truth, uh, power, all of these things, you know. I wanna be I wanna be someone that's very valuable in nature so that's the reason why we need all of this information and i'm i'm going to be speaking about what i've learned in this book the science of attraction um you know why are attractive people using adverts you know we know that people are people um like let's say models who who, who model for clothes or products the people who are being chosen are the ones that have on a genetic level survival and replication value so if it's a man he has p power wealth status and that's the person we're going to put on an ad um or he represents that a woman is gonna be someone that's beautiful she don't even have to really have power wealth and all of that she she don't really have to do that or represent that she just has to have beauty so i'm gonna read a passage or read something from this book right it's why are Wait, let's go. Let's find it. Do, do, do. Yeah, people like to say looks aren't important, right? So I'm quoting from the book. Looks aren't important. It's what, what's on the inside that matters. Quote, one of the biggest lies ever told. They matter. Within the realm of nature, the appearance of each organism is a direct indication of gene information and level of mut mutation involved through gene replication. This direct expression of gene information allows another organism to immediately judge the health of another body solely from observation. Blah, blah, blah. We do the same thing. We unconsciously judge every single person in a fraction of a second on how they appear. It's survival, it's necessary. It's a d determining factor of who we allow to enter our lives. Um, that's why they use it in marketing. In movies, commercials, advertising, magazines and products, they sell you a false sense of survival based on the appearances of people that they use in their merchandise. They're selling you good genes and I'm not, wait. That's why women all, all over social media get hundreds of likes and comments for their selfies from complete strangers. They're displaying the quality of their genes to the rest of nature and confirming their replication value from all the men who comment and like their their photo. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that. But again, I'm trying to communicate to you the subconscious things that are going on and the real truth, the real knowledge, the real information that's going to help you understand life because it gives you a better sense of power over yourself. The reason why attractive people are used in adverts is because they're selling you good genes. And let's say, for example, someone, you see a, a piece of clothing worn by someone that you feel is genetically very valuable you want that same level of genetic um, value so you're more likely to want to buy the product all of this stuff matters because you're going to be lied to and be you're going to be told that looks aren't important looks don't matter everyone's beautiful and it sounds good on the outside but it's a lie it sounds good on the outside and it's a lie and the fact that we have to use attractive people in ads to get the best bang for our buck when we're advertising products. It shows us that there's this genetic processing that's going on, right? So don't 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 believe the stuff that feels good and it just it seems good on the outside. It's, it, it, it's, it, it, I can see why everyone would would take to it like, oh, it looks are important. Everyone's beautiful, but it's simply not true. You know, so if you if you are judging people based on their attractiveness, which you naturally will do, then you have to be conscious of the fact that that's also going to happen to you. You know, some guys will ask, hey, well, do looks matter and stuff? Well, of course they do, because it's just one expression of um, your genetic um, quality, you know, and 
yeah, there are more things that you are also going to use to express that quality, but looks are also important too. And it's also the same reason why a woman should always want to look beautiful and take pride in that, you know. Of course, yeah, you can feel beautiful without the makeup, but you don't want to get in a relationship and you want to get lazy and all of that stuff. You're communicating your genetic importance to everyone around you. You know, so that's what I learned from this book, The Science of Attraction. I highly recommend it. Stay tuned for future videos on information like this because this stuff is the stuff that people want to know. You know, they want to talk like they're experts, but they don't really know. So take care. Peace. See you in the next one.